You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. That was a long slide. Holy crap. Oh, hello. Got a scan? My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. this. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. No. 
Oh my gosh, I almost killed myself. <laughs> that was really close. Let's go, BD1. Pass the test. So you knew about BD-1? <laughs> Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stain out of Batoli meat fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. <clears throat> contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Jathomir <laughs> Zepho, it's your choice. Just let me know when you want to go. Can I work on my lightsaber back here? That's what I want to know. Got one of these back here. That's a, a plus. I can. Nice. I figured that's what this was. like that.
This whole journey has put a lot of wear and tear on the Manus. Like it was perfect before? It was a masterpiece, but now, ugh, just don't be surprised if I send you a bill. Someone's low on funds. I mean, sure, okay, that may be part of it, but I'm used to it. Were you rich growing up? Wealth isn't really a priority for Jedi. Yeah, well, I was poor too, but it wasn't so bad. My crew and I would find things to do for cheap. That's where I learned how to play Subhawk. A game which requires credits. Strange choice. <laughs> well, we were kids. We bet all kinds of dumb things, from food to funny-shaped rocks. Unfortunately, things changed when we got older. Funny-shaped rocks didn't go so far anymore. A galaxy would be a better place if they did. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like land. Man's sky. Oh! Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the <coughs> comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Wait, where's the, um... terrarium? That, uh... Yeah, I like customization stuff for. Oh, it's that, duh. Yeah, here it is. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Okay, that's interesting. Very random. Let's roll out, I guess. Wow, this looks really cool. Good work. Oh, we did it, we did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus? Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day, when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. Yeah, okay, buddy.
down the middle first. Like that. That's pretty cool. Scanning again? <laughs> Thanks, PD One. Storage crate. Across that? I mean, what's the purpose with that? I don't think there's a purpose for that. Okay. Let's just go in here. Can't open it. Oh, okay. So that's it for in here then. Watch out, BD. We don't look friendly. Didn't even kill the stormtrooper. What the heck? Oh wait, I think I heard him. Is he making noise? See that like, grunting there for a second? Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. Already. If they were following the Mantis. We would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just oh. got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Okay. Hey, this man wants to scan everything. What is that? I'm looking. Oh, it's a weapon. That's not opening. It's locked as well, okay. All the doors are locked here. That's what we're figuring out right now. this time. I think I should be able to climb that somehow. <laughs> Baby there? Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Just got a steam, a stem pack. Nice. 
nice. Okay, so that upgrade is the amount I can carry. Sweet. Uh, is that all that was here? Yes, it was. Okay. It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. Okay, I can see this area. Okay. Uh, 
Taking us. The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees shipped off to work camps. Or worse. This man's about to get this. 